everyone, welcome to week three. I hope you're all keeping well um, and the weather hopefully should pick up for us again this week. Um, I know you're working really hard on your packs and um, for Maz we've been concentrating on addition and subtraction the last few weeks and for the new, next few weeks ahead. Um, I know you've got loads of sheets to work through but uh, I'm also conscious that P2 and actually P3 as well, when we were doing that subtra subtraction and addition in class, a lot of the things would have been done practically using lots of different types of resources. Um, I know that not everybody has loads of maths resources at home, so I thought I could make a, a few videos showing how we can do addition and subtraction through play and through practical activities um, with stuff that you either would have in the house or um, can make quite easily or cheaply uh, to help your boys and girls to explore numeracy practically. Okay. So here are a few of the things that I have set out um, that you can use to do some practical maths. So over here we have a, a bucket of rainbow rice. Uh, rainbow rice is really easy to make. Uh, it's just rice, a little bit of vinegar and some food colouring. Um, you shake it all about in a bag and leave it to dry overnight and it's a really really good resource for loads of things. Um, I know both P2s and 3s are doing um, capacity this last two weeks and the week, next week ahead um, so it's really really good for doing capacity as well so I'll talk you through that in a few seconds. Um, this is a just a roll of paper you could use old wallpaper if you have it if you don't have a roll of paper and it's just made out like a race a race car track and two cars there um, for addition and subtraction within 10. Um, the P3s, we could do multiples of 10 all the way up um, to extend them a little bit further. Uh, over here, this is, oh, I'm not really sure what it is. <laughs> I'm going from Ikea and I'm using little rings. Um, great again for addition and subtraction and for counting. Um, instead of the wooden rings, you could use um, the little plastic rings from milk tops or something like that. Um, we have some men and a little ball here uh, for doing uh, skittles. So you might have a set of skittles at home or a really good fun way to do it actually in the garden is empty uh, two litre bottles and uh, a football. Great for kicking, throwing, lots and lots of fun to be had with that. So we'll talk through that in a second. Um, this is an old bit of flooring, laminate flooring that I've made into a 10 frame and we have some play-doh. I know Miss Tunney showed you last week what we can do with play-doh so we'll talk a wee bit about that. Um, these are just uh, wooden pegs um, and I've just used a book to attach them to so obviously I've turned the numbers on one side and I've left the other side blank um, just for addition and subtraction uh, without having the numbers visible. So again, loads of things we can do with that. Um, these are more set for P3, but uh, I know the P2s, we were doing uh, counting uh, in tens, so they can use them for those. These are just straws, um, paper straws and um, cell tip. So uh, each bundle is 10, so it represents obviously 10, and the children can count them there just to make sure. So those are tens and ones. Uh, great for addition and subtraction within 100. And uh, again, I'll show you how to use those a little bit later. First one is uh, the rainbow rice. So uh, I talked about how we're doing capacity. So really, really simply um, using two different sizes of containers, one smaller than the other. Uh, children can skip up the rice and fill it in. Count how many small cups it takes to fill the bowl. Uh, this could be good for addition as well. So if I add three cups and then I add another four, how many cups are they all together? Um, so really good resource for um, so, uh, capacity uh, that doesn't get everywhere soaking. So it's great for that. Um, for addition and subtraction, I'm, I'm going to use these little um, these little counters, but you can use anything at all, absolutely anything you have in the house. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of doing uh, subtraction calculations within 10. So the first one, uh, 7 take away 3, really simple. Ask them to count out 7 and put them into the rice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they've counted out 7, they've got 7 in there. They've been asked to take away 3, so take 3 and put them into the cup. And count how many is left, so four there, so we record four on our board. Um, for this one, where uh, the second number is missing, so we're thinking, okay, well, I have nine, and if I take away some amount, I'm left with six. So the best way to do that 
is to again count out nine into the rainbow. So we've got four there already, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, you've been left with six. So leave, count out six and leave them there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Put the rest in your tub and then just ask them, well, how many did you take away? And obviously they can see that's three and add that to their calculation. Uh, for this one, now, the biggest number, uh, the number uh, at the start of subtraction is always the biggest number. It's really important that children understand that, um, that you have an amount and you have to, it has to be the biggest number to be able to take something away. Um, so in this one, our starter number's uh, not there. We took away two and we were left with four. So our starter number isn't there. We're trying to find out what our starter number is. So we took away two. So show them two in their takeaway bowl. They were left with four. So leave them with four. And what we actually need to do is add these back together. This is inverse subtraction. So uh, to find actually the answer to this, what we need to do is add those two numbers together again. So get them to take away what they got in their takeaway bowl, put them back into the rice and count how many they had initially all together. So I can see three and three is six. Okay, so we'll put that on our board. So loads of different, um, lots of different practice for this. Um, something's really nice to put in a tongs so they can use the tongs. Again, it develops fine motor skills. It's a bit more fun. Um, so lots of different things we can do with that. For the P3s, what we can do is you can write some two digit numbers on little bits of paper and put them into the rice. And then either write them down a series of calculations that match to those answers so last week we were doing adding multiples of 10 this week we're doing subtracting multiples of 10 so you can either call them out or write them a list on a paper and ask them to find the answer and stick them the answers down beside them or just write the answers down beside them so you could call out what is um 39 plus 20 so they'll go through those uh, mental and math strategies that we tried last week or another mental math strategy or a written strategy. So 39 plus 20, 49, 59. So they go and get the 59 with their tongues and put it down. So lots of practical activities that you can do with rice for both P2s and P3s.